I'm just feeling all the feels I always do on these calls, but Nader, Dr. Ryan, Lisa, and Ben, I just think I can speak for everyone in this company. We are so grateful. You have changed our lives. You have changed our lives. I haven't had to cry once over this company, okay? That's a big deal to me. I am having so much fun and it's because of you all. Um, let's talk about leadership in Live Good. And I'm gonna give you some actual tactical things you can do to grow your business. Um, John Maxwell says, leadership is a direct function and a result of your ability to influence others. Then he says your ability to have influence is a direct result in your ability to connect with others. So really leadership is influence is connection is sales. So leadership is selling, selling is leadership, influence is leadership, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. So one of the three things leaders do, and I'm gonna talk about just one of the three things, is leaders teach people how to think about things. When you're in a disruptive company doing something no one's ever done, your job is to teach people how to think about what you're doing, okay? So one of the ways I want you to think about this is something my husband said this week. And I said, did you just come up with that? And he said he did, okay? So here's the line, and it's so good. He said, live good. It's not a big decision, but it is a big deal. Ooh. It's not a big decision, but it is a big deal. Do you notice the double entendre with the big deal part too? We are a big deal. We are disrupting everything. And yep. we are a big deal in how much money we save people. Leaders teach people how to think about things. This is a $10 decision. This is, do you like to save money? Yeah, I thought so, okay. If you truly understood this is not a big decision, you're not asking anyone to climb a mountain, then wouldn't you go and share it with everyone that you know? Mm. Okay, mm. so the first way to think about live good, this is not a big decision, but it is a big deal. Number two, I want you to assume everyone would want live good. If it's true that pretty much every human loves to save money. And if we're assuming they would want to be in Live Good as a member, then what if your reach outs could sound something like this? Okay, and here's how we're going to maximize the 1 million mark. I might now reach out to Josh and say, hey, Josh, I hope you're doing great and have a wonderful uh, new year. I see you own the biggest couch in all the land. I love your big couch. I mean, I'm going to say something, be a human, don't be weird. And be like, okay, so I'm reaching out to every single friend of mine because hello, we're friends on Facebook. If you're friends with someone on Facebook, you can say that. If they're in your real life, you can say that because it's true. Hey, I'm reaching, I'm just reaching out to all my friends because friends don't let friends pay retail. And I'm just wondering, do you have a live good membership? Do you have a live good membership? With a million members, what if I almost assume that everyone has heard of Live Good? We're kind of flipping the table to where I'm sure you've heard of Live Good, right? Do you have a membership? And when they haven't, they're like, no, what's that? I'm like, oh, okay, good. I just want I want all my friends to know about this because I just think it's the, the right thing to do to help my friends save hundreds of dollars. Okay. Like, or you could even say, well, I didn't know because we have a million members. Have you heard of Live Good? Maybe you have because we have a million members. Have you heard of Live Good? Like, do you have a Live Good membership? Add this too. I love this. Curry Russell said this in a, in, a, in a text to someone this week. He said, have you taken a real look at Live Good? And that's for your business oh. associates. Not just have you heard of Live Good. Have you taken a real look at Live Good? I love that line. Okay. <laughs> The third way I want you to think about things is very related to what Britt said. Britt, please unmute. This is not a trick question. If I were backing up my car and in the uh, driveway was my son's bike, what would you do to suggest that I get, how would you suggest I get the bike out of the way? Move it. 
Move it. She got it right. Okay. Okay. So the third thing we're going to do, the number one thing people have told me in 20 years of psychology and coaching is when I ask, what is your biggest obstacle to any of your success and anything you want in life is they say, I'm in my own way. And what did Brit say? How are we going to get out of our own way? We are going to move. We are actually mm -hmm. going to take action. So mm -hmm. if I were in the car, I would not have been able to move the bike by thinking about moving the bike. And I'm, I'm going to get ready to move the bike. I am getting, I am getting ready to get ready to move the bike. I am, I will move the bike when I feel motivated to move the bike. No, you got to move the bike. How do you get out of it in your own way? You do the do. You talk to the humans. Okay. So. I need you to all ask yourself, how coachable are you? If you look at any of the diamonds in this, in this business, platinums and crowns, they are the most coachable humans you'll ever meet. Coachable. Les Brown, this, this is what Britt was talking about. Les Brown, greatest speaker that I've ever heard. He said when he was just beginning and he had big dreams of his life, he would only take advice from millionaires. And he would say, are you a millionaire? And they would say, yes or no. And he would say, okay, then I don't want to listen to you. Do you understand if the people have what you want and they're telling you what to do, your job is to move. Mm. You're going to move with fear. You're going to move with shaking mm. voice. You're going to move with fear. You're going to move with all the things, but you got to move. You're going to move your way into getting out of your own way. Mm -hmm. And I just want to end with another way to think about live good. We've got to write down what Ben Glinsky said at the beginning. What's in store for 2024 is going to make 2023 look tiny. Mm -hmm. Thank you.